Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 19. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're going to move on to the Class C Championship. Uh, this is for Class C vehicles. We got the Mitsubishi Evo, hopefully... This will be good for us. Um, starting off in Sakuba, Road Atlanta, Mazda Laguna, Seika, Tokyo Circuit, Silverstone, and finishing off at Road America. Let's see how we do. All right, so the Evo 8 is apparently an option for this event. Hopefully having the Evo 6 isn't going to be too bad. Actually, this one's got a little better acceleration. It's much lighter as well, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ADHD kicks in whenever you play a new game. Always. It's guaranteed. I've got an itch on my nose. It's really pissing me off. Here we go. Not bad. Zeppelin, Zeppelin. This song is a tune, mate. I like it. Ugh. Meow. Lovely. Okay, after three laps, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. We got a decent uh, distance, so I'm not too concerned about the fact that this is an older Mitsubishi. In fact, sometimes the older ones can be better. It's just a bit funny that this is second on the on the um, actual qualifying. But it's quite a substantial bit faster than the other cars. At the same time, though, I don't want to make a mistake. Because I know a mistake is going to cost me the race. I can make minor mistakes, but like one or two. Anything big that involves me spinning, race is over. It's going to require a lot of pushing to get it.
Bum 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 bum. 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 Bum 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 <laughs> what do you mean ADHD meds won't work? If you've got ADHD, they will work. <laughs> it's how the brain works. If you have ADHD, then ADHD meds are going to work. Otherwise, if you don't have ADHD, they're not going to work. They'll just work in a different way. They'll make you feel extremely high. Like, extremely high. And if you got ADHD, you'll just be extremely focused. That's sort of pretty much how ADHD meds work. They're actually quite, quite an, not an illegal drug. Some of them are highly illegal to like have in possession, unless you're prescribed it. Because uh, methylphenidate is like in the top ten most dangerous drugs, which obviously is an ADHD drug. It is in the top 10 most dangerous drugs out there. But no one's died from it. But it can cause some serious shit. If you don't have ADHD. Because it changes how your brain works and stuff like that. Meow. There we go. Sakuba is done. I'm not going to get a replay because I got a replay of Sakuba for the last one. Alright. Road Atlanta. Race number two of six. Oh my god. Six races in the championship. At least it's a decent length game. There was definitely enough content in this game to last some time before the next game came out. So, not bad. I think Falls of Four was where it got quite ridiculous with the amount of content. But again, I want like a Falls of Four length game for Falls of Motorsport 8. Cars behind are trying to sneak their way through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
really hurts. Not having the back of this chair really, really hurts. It's gone. It's completely dead. <laughs> like, it snapped. But I have um, messaged the seller on Amazon. There is a law in the UK that you can use. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go that far. But I really don't see how you can sell a chair and it break within a year. And that be seen as acceptable. Until we lost. I love this song, by the way. Lost by Culture Shop. There we go. So I still... I don't know why. You can take them to court because you bought something and it's immediately broken. It's not immediately broken. I've had it for a year. But even then, a chair should last more than a year. A chair is not something... Especially if you spend £150 on a chair, you want the chair to last more than a year. You don't spend that much money on a chair for it to... If, if I spent 20 quid on a chair, then yeah. I'd expect it to last eight months. Probably. If I spent 50 quid on a chair, I would expect it to last a year. If I'm spending 150 quid, I expect it to last about three to five years with that money. Not a year and a month, which is how long I've had it for. It's ridiculous. So... Well, Amazon go through and say, um, if they don't reply within 48 hours, you can go through their A to Z guarantee thing. But the, I don't know what that means. I presume it means because the seller hasn't responded to your request, that you then go through Amazon and Amazon will just say, well, yeah, the chair's been broken. Let's ship out a new one. Because I know Amazon is very lenient on consumers anyways. They'll say, uh, consumer's got a broken chair, here's a new one. They will do it. Amazon makes so much money, they don't care. Until we lost. It will be a shame for the seller, definitely, but... At the end of the day, if the seller's sold a product and it's broken in an unreasonable time frame, like certain products should last a certain amount of time. Like a chair I expect to last about three years. A mattress I expect to last about five to eight years. If I was to buy a pillow, I'd expect it to last two to three years before wearing out. A t-shirt, two years before it starts wearing down. A microphone or electrical equipment about two years before it starts wearing down. But that's two years with reason. If it's a big system, I expect it to last a bit longer. Like an actual console, I would expect to last about five years. A keyboard, two years. Capture card, two years. Disk drive, two years. Because they're little things. A TV I expect to last about 5 to 10 years. A monitor, 5 to 8. Because the monitor is slightly different and it works slightly different. There's like average expectations of how long a product should last. If a chair doesn't even last a year, fucking hell it's a poor quality chair. I can guarantee you if they don't ship out a new one to fix it, <laughs> it'll be a bad review. Because I know for a fact people don't want a chair that easily breaks. So, see what Amazon's got to say. Hopefully, it gets dealt with though.
Pam 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 pam. Lovely. We're gonna start seeing some uh, even longer races after this as well. I mean, to be fair, this is championship series, so this is the longest of the normal races before we start just seeing an endurance race. Uh, I've got no clue, but no matter what country the seller's from, they have to abide by British law. So, I think there is a law that covers me to request a repair. I don't think I'm entitled to a refund, but I'm entitled to a repair, and if a repair is not available, a replacement can be offered. And if neither of those can be offered, then a refund can be offered. There we go. Not bad. I'll save that replay. We'll use that one for uh, thumbnails. 22 grand. Level 29. And we got uh, upgrades on engine tuning. Another discount. I just want a working chair. I want to be able to plonk my ass down lean back and be comfortable and I am not receiving that right now <laughs> I do hate this track with a passion by the way really hate this track If I could put this track in the bin, I would quite easily do it. Not bad. Halfway there, whoa, donkey in a chair. Take my hand and put it in there. Whoa, donkey in a chair. <laughs> I have no clue what that even was, but I'll take it. There we go. Not bad. There we go, not bad. Dun 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 See, the funny thing is, I think a lot of products, when they're sold nowadays, they're sold at such a price that they could, they're actually making enough profit that they could give you two products and still have a bit left over. Like, for example, they, they could quite easily give 
like some of those iPhone manufacturers. There is no way an iPhone would even cost Apple $300 to make. So you think they sell it at a thousand pounds, it breaks, they give you a new one. But surprisingly, they actually rip you off even more to before you actually get that. So Apple's just a scummy company. It's a bad example. But like stuff like the Logitech wheel that I have, I can guarantee you that only costs them about a hundred pounds to make, not even. And it costs you 320 to buy it. So they can give away another wheel and they would still be making profit. You know. There we go, not bad. Bum 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 Not bad, not bad. Coming up to the final go round the uh, corkscrew. What has happened to that car? It's like stuck in that first hairpin. He's really slow, whoever it is. Now, I love how Laguna Seca as well is such a tiny track. Oh my god, the drop. You can actually see the scale of the drop in this game from quite a distance. And even then, the drop still keeps going. Like, this is where it levels out at this point. It just keeps going downhill. It's ridiculous. There we go, not bad. I will take a very nice 652 for that. All right, here we go, Tokyo Circuit. We've got three more races left to do. Three or four? I've lost count. I don't know if we've done two or three. Oh, wow. It's either race number three or race number four. Hmm. Taking me deeper. Oh, this is a drop. I love a good bit of drum and bass. Um, I do find it interesting that some of these sponsors... Like, there's no way that these sponsors can be putting these games for free. It just seems weird. So, like, how much money do some of these people actually spend to have their names put in these video games? It must be a lot. A burning fire for you. Oh my god, that was an old total. Total logo. That must have been from a good few years ago. For you.
I am kind of glad that this track wasn't featured in Motorsport 3. I think quite a lot of the bad tracks in this game have been gotten rid of, such as Tokyo Circuit. I think Tokyo Circuit was one of the pretty bad tracks. They've only just got round that last corner and I'm already on the next one. I think where I'm benefiting is more... Not the top speed. I think the top speed we're actually losing time. But it's the acceleration out of the corners. The fact that we've got four-wheel drive with ahead of every other car on this grid, pretty much, except the other Mitsubishi. But I think, as well, it also helps... The fact that this car is much lighter... So it doesn't have as much momentum in the corners, like sideways momentum. Oh, do you know who I want to listen to? Danny Bird. He makes some good tunes. They've been featured. He's made quite a few songs for uh, Forza Motorsport games. Uh, Forza Horizon games, sorry. I think he's got three tracks in Horizon games. So, not bad. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I'm going to have to delete my entire Forza Horizon 4 save when it comes to Horizon 4. That's going to be fun. Not. I've got a lot of shit on there. I think I'll still delete it anyways because it's pointless keeping it. And to be honest, I think I'm going to play all of the Forza games on the consoles anyways. I know that... I think the only one I will have to play on um, PC is Horizon Lovely jubbly. Here we go, coming up to the last section of this race. Ooh! Ooh, very close. Nice. I need to get LED lights back in this room. Oh my god. Oh my god, there is a wild sugar in the chat. How are you today? Long time no see. How you been? <laughs> Welcome to the Forza recording session. Playing Forza Motorsport 1. The OG of the Forza games. <laughs> I'm wild, baby. <laughs> Do you know what's kind of crazy to think about? This game existed before Lewis Hamilton even started Formula 1. And Forza Motorsport 2 came out the same year he started Formula 1. That's pretty impressive. And then Motorsport 3 came out and Hamilton was already a world champion. That's mental to think about, actually. <laughs> Mm 
Have you still got your cast on your arm? How long's that going to be on for then? Because it's been on for a good week and a half now, isn't it? Evening wiki. <laughs> I'm like a moving Wikipedia page. I've done quite a lot of research for this game and like all sorts of stuff. I know dates, times, things, places, all about all of these forms of games. I've done so much research. I have a new one that was put on Tuesday and I have to wear it for six weeks. Why have you got to wear a new one for six weeks? Was it not quite healed enough when they took it off? Ah, oh, there we go. 731. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to save this replay. I want to get a Tokyo Circuit thumbnail. Alright, Silverstone. Let's get this done. Yeah, that must be painful. Uh, touch wood. I think this is wood. <laughs> touch wood. So far, I haven't actually broken a bone. And I don't intend to. I don't want to. Please don't let me break a bone. <laughs> I can imagine it hurts pretty bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, there we go. Do 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 do. I think that's a stow corner, if I'm not mistaken. I find it really weird driving this track on any game before 2013, because this is normally the last section, and then you come here and you've got pit lane, you've got all the pit row. But obviously, this is the old version. That entire stretch of stuff didn't exist. The track sort of existed. But, like, that entire section was not there. I do miss the old Silverstone, I will admit. Middle name. Middle name, ma'am. Middle name. Middle name. Oh dear. Okay. I've gone a bit wide at the corner. Over there. Here we go. Not bad. I'll have a look in a second. Uh -huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't forget, chat, to uh, share the stream out with your mates. we got to get two more follows for our daily goal. It'd be pretty sick. <laughs> That'd be pretty good if we can uh, hit the daily goal today. Because we hit it yesterday as well. We got the uh, two subs goal. Daily goal, so not bad.
Not bad. We're going to have one more lap after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I've got Maggots and Beckett's coming up. Beckett's is such a weird corner. Because it's a lot tighter than it actually looks. And it's especially misleading because the... Obviously the maggot's corner... Is not as tight. And you think, oh, it's probably just a little bit tighter. But no, it's like... A whole gear shift down. That's how much tighter it is. Much smaller corner. Oh, it got hiccups. Oh, wow. It's been four and a half hours and no one's redeemed the first thing. <laughs> How does that work? Well, it looks like you're first. I will uh, have a drink in a second, Stones. Welcome, Stones. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Come on, get round that corner. Oh yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've just been vibing. <laughs> this music slaps. And there we go. Across the finish line, 640. Not too bad. 22 grand. I'll take it. We've got one more race after this. All right, here we go. We've got six people in chat. Welcome, everyone. If you want to uh, share the stream out, share the videos, share the whatever you feel like sharing, feel free to. Every little bit helps. Asda, every little helps. <laughs> Wow. Oh. This is a good song. The bass line's good. Bum 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 
Not bad. Good first lap there, actually. Good job. Final lap. Coming up in a minute. Oh. Woo. Don't want to crash into the wall. That would be embarrassing. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, a little bit too wide there. This car's done the, done the job, though. It's been pretty quick. The funny thing is, though, Forza, Forza Motorsport 1 was based on performance where you started. So you wanted to start at the front with the best car. But the problem is, if you started at the front and you had the best car, you were going to pull away. So you wouldn't end up battling. I think we've seen that with about 95% of the races. Which is a shame. Nothing bad about it. Because I still have fun racing. But. That's why I prefer the later Forza games. Because it always starts you at the back. Or towards the back. So you have a chance to battle for the position. Oh, I just realised there's a possibility we could actually play all of the older Forza Motorsports, like Forza Motorsport 5, 6, and 7, all completely with wheel. I may do that. Or I may even buy a drive hub and try and do 3 and 4 with a wheel. Who knows? Maybe 2. I don't know. What would you want? Let me know in the comments. Or the chat. <laughs> I think I'll definitely do Forza 5, 6, and 7 on the wheel. But actually, I don't think 5 has very good customization for the wheel. Or 6. I think 7 is the only one where it actually was useful. We will see. There you go, 507. Not bad at all. And I'll take my rewards, thank you. What car do we get? I'm curious. I know it says it, but I forget. Oh! Ferrari Dino, not bad. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>